So in the first video of passive sentences and shifting vowels, we looked over the control passive with the tongue ending and some complications with shifting vowels and the I stems. In this video, we will go over non-control passive with the nung and nong. In this video, we're gonna go over non-control passive with the passive formed with nung or nong at the end of the verb root. And also, we'll be going over shifting vowels in non-control stems. So for non-control passive, we're gonna go over the models for nung and nong ending. Someone helps us, succeeds in helping us. Someone helps you. Someone helps you folks. And someone helps someone. So sin is I or me. St would be we or us. T for you. T hi, you folks. And the nung ending would be the he, she, it, or they. The non-control passive is formed with nang or nang at the end of the verb root. Keep in mind that just as for the control passive in each example, it is the subject that is undergoing the action. Notice also that just as from the control passive, each of the column sentences has three possible English translations. The non-control passive implies that there is an actor who isn't in control. It is translated just as the other non-control forms in the object pronouns video, manage to, accidentally, or finally succeed in. In the models here, only the first has these idea explicitly in English translation. Now we're gonna go over to shifting vowels in non-control stems. Remember back in the object pronouns video, you learned a list of non-control verbs. Here is the list again. Kunah managed to take it. Schnah managed to wake it. Schnah. Hachnah. Hachnah managed to dry it. Hitsnah. Hitsnah managed to cut it. Schnah. Schnah managed to hit it. Saanah. Saanah. Managed to lift it. Mis now. Mis now. Managed to choose it. Managed to figure it out. And managed to break it. What you were told in that session was, and I quote, note that some of these end with a now, while others end with na. As a rule, if the basic transitive ends with the schwa, accented schwa, t, at, with a stressed schwa, then the non-controlled transitive will end in n, accented a, x, raised w, na. These words have vowelless roots, also called zero stems. Now you have an explanation for these changing forms in zero stems. The suffix is na, while in weak and strong stems, the suffix is nuh. When the passive is added to weak or strong non-control stems, the stress vowel is shifted just as it does in control stems. In weak stems, the vowel moves to the right. In strong stems, it stays put. In zero stems, the non-control suffix is n, accented a, x, and raised w, nuh. And the passive suffix is n, accented A and hooked in, nung. This table summarizes weak, strong, zero, and I stems when the event is not in control. So you've got weak stem before, when the passive suffix is added, and then your word. And the Quinoe for this lesson. Only what I've done judged. Oh, yeah, I'm going Jay. Oh, and the last part for this video, passive with noun, phrase, and subject.
when a noun phrase is used with a passive verb, it is translated as undergoing the action. Let's listen to this model sentences. And the deer was accidentally helped. And now the Kunawi for passive with noun free subject. And that's it for passive sentences and shifting nouns part two. Quite 